meeting of the Bennington Board, Select Board. It's December 17th. We're meeting today rather than Christmas Eve. We have an abbreviated agenda, I can see, but uh, I'm Tom Jacobs, and for the purposes of the meeting tonight, um, Nancy Lively is my, to my right, and we'll continue right around to introduce ourselves. Donald Campbell. Carson Thurber. Good evening, Chad Gordon. Hello, Jeannie Jenkins. I'm Jim Carroll. <coughs> Jean Connor. And Stuart Hurry. Tom Mann. Great. Um, we uh, have a consent agenda, which has been circulated. It contains the minutes of our uh, last meeting. Um, and it was just like last week, right? <coughs> yes. December 10th, uh, along with the warnings. Uh, excuse me, the warrants, and uh, I'll entertain a motion to accept the consent agenda as circulated. So moved. Second. Any questions as to minutes or warrants that were circulated? Please. Nancy, if I said <coughs> Old Castle should be congratulated, I meant the Bennington Community Theater. Oh, all right. At Old Castle. At Old Castle. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure what I said. Good old castle. <laughs> okay. But I will change it. Okay, thank you. Sure. Credit's where credit is due, right? Mm -hmm. um, we uh, have citizen public comment uh, opportunity. Um, we we vote. Vote. Oh, we haven't voted. Thank you very much. <laughs> All in favor? I'm sorry, I overlooked that. Sorry. Uh, thank you for not pointing it out. <laughs> um, citizens comment. Uh, Joel, you have a you want to make a comment tonight on the I do. Yeah. Um, I was hoping to get some clarity on uh, how the DID uh, funding proposals will be handled this year. Uh, last year, I believe, we <coughs> were uh, in April, and uh, I'd like to know if there's a, a process in place for applying for those funds uh, and when uh, the presentations are going to be given. Um, Go ahead, let's talk about our budget uh, process and the timing. Uh, I, mean, I think this is a good opportunity for the public to understand our budgetary timeline process and the like. And go ahead. Well, uh, you folks all received yeah. your uh, FY20 budget proposal this evening. Um, normally, we would schedule the first two or three Saturdays in January, uh, which uh, we have set aside and reserved the uh, public space at the fire facility for those meetings. Um, normally, we would take the budget up first, but I leave that to you folks. You need to tell me. I'm sure there are a couple of agencies you want to interview, and there has been talk about considering the uh, uh, BDA budget during this time frame. Mm -hmm. It's been submitted as, uh, and attached to uh, what we sent out for the agency. So. I, I well, like heretofore, the, 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 when it came to the uh, Downtown Improvement District. It, it was that was determined in April. Generally, yeah. Okay. So why it's been it's been it's moved, but generally it's April. May. So why change? I think basically because we're trying to put everything under the same umbrella. I think that may lead to discussion relative to the Downtown Improvement Districts um, wanting up a, a voice to be heard, uh, and so it's a question of what we would expect of that, of anyone uh, mm -hmm. that wants to make a budgetary request during our budget considerations, because this all comes to the public in March. Mm -hmm. uh, which well, here's, here's my thoughts on, on <coughs> moving it into the budget session. So much of what we do and what we decide on gets jammed in on those three weekends. And the DID is really an important component to, for, for lack of a better phrase, we don't have a marketing plan. But it, it, it yeah, would we'll be talking uh, about that. Pardon me? We'll be talking about that right. marketing plan. But uh, to jam that in there without uh, a good open opportunity to do that before the public, I think is short sighted, especially when it's going to be after uh, the election of potentially three. Um, New board members. I think any discussion really, we should be moving all of these things before the March town meeting. So everyone that wants to comment about any part of our budget or wants to be a part of it mm -hmm. gets heard. It doesn't mean that we have to do this on the second, uh, those three meetings. We can have one in February, 
Okay. Um, for those type of, uh, you know, those things, whether it's BDA, BID, or whatever. Um, because at that point, point in time, I hope that we do have a master marketing link considered by this board. Uh, so to answer uh, Joel's question, it's going to be, I would like to see sometime in February that during the So it wouldn't afford, we wouldn't yet. jam this into uh, right. uh, our, our normal no, well, we should deal with our considerations. Oh, so that would be separate. Okay. Uh, yeah, I defer to Stu after Well, yeah, the municipal budgets have to be worn yeah. by, by the yeah. end of January in order to meet the, yeah. the timeline for the March ballot. The, the DID budget is a budget that you folks adopt at each, mm -hmm. and, and that sets the tax rate. So, yeah. and, okay. And, uh, okay. So I think it's probably could, should be done in <coughs> February so that when the budget is adopted, hopefully, Mm -hmm. um, that will include the component for the DID or EDA or... Okay, so if, if we were to adopt the DID, even in our uh, normal budgetary considerations, where that is spent would uh, be determined in February? Is that what you're suggesting? No, we have a, we have a decision or discussion relative to the, those, that area in February. Okay. Apart and from... Apart from the municipal budget, per se. Mm -hmm. you know, so that it's the separate and distinct. I think that I'm trying to say mm -hmm. the discussion. Yeah. I, I just think, makes sense. I think realistically, the, the, the downtown improvement district funding, which traditionally has been our contract with the Bending It Down Street Alliance, mm -hmm. um, I think last year we had a request for additional funds for another organization, the mm -hmm. DBA, um, and so that. If that falls outside of our general highway and fire fund discussions, mm -hmm. that's probably appropriate because mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. they they don't really connect in the in, in a direct link. Okay, but just to are. be absolutely clear with respect to the DID budget, historically it's always uh, for the vast majority it's gone to the yeah. well, it's gone to the BBC, and. Yeah. Um, I'd like to, I hope that we're going to invite other entities um, like Mr. Lentzner and, and his folks to vie for some of those funds. So I'm just throwing that out there. Well, I think the this is a, basically a line item in our budget that this board has to decide, you know, where to spend its money that we allocate for downtown improvement activity. Mm -hmm. um, and what we're saying is that we're inviting those and we've historically had a contract arrangement with the former BBC mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. and we've done that on a contract basis but there, there is some other agency that wants to look at our here's here's how much we got folks mm -hmm. and if they want to try to make a pitch for getting some portion of that so nobody would be excluded is what I'm trying in the discussion yeah. may be excluded in the decision right, right. so just to follow up on what it, I was asking, uh, last year the vote was taken to assign those funds to the BBC before I was able to make my presentation on the same agenda on the same night. Is that the same format that's going to take place this year? Actually, Joel, what happened last year is the, the select board approved the, the, yeah, the funding of the contract with the Downtown Bennington Alliance. It doesn't preclude the board from adding additional funds to the DID funding source. It's not that, 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 that it's, a, it's a concise amount that only goes, this is what the, the BBC or the DBA requests. If the board approves that, it doesn't mean they can't re approve something more than that. That would mean raising the tax rate then mm -hmm. for the downtown. Possibly. Yes. But why isn't there an option that the tax rate for the downtown improvement district is set at what it is, and we're looking to compete, as it were, for that particular sum of money, whether it be seven hundred fifty dollars or forty five hundred? Why? It, it seems like it's monopolistic to assign this money on an annual contract basis that is never competitive. As I understand it, we have this fund that we've used in the past, and we have contracted with the BBC BDA, right? 
That's correct. Those funds are going to be either the same or more or less, and we're going to say, folks, come and make a presentation why you should have some portion of it, all of it, and before we actually award a contract if we do. Okay, and that's not going to be done at a regular meeting. It's going to be part of a budget discussion. Uh, I don't want it part of an agenda. I don't think that was really helpful to have, you know, uh, it should be, here's our, our, um, our fund that we use for downtown improvement and contract, either a con on a contract basis, more likely than not, because that's historically how it's been. Can we make sure it's that way? I, I want to be yeah. crystal clear so we're not confused come February. If we have, let's just make it easy math, if we have $100 that's up for grabs for marketing our area or however you want to describe the downtown, I don't want it to be, you know, come February that some red tape or hangs us up. I like the idea of people coming in front of us to kind of proportion that money out as we see fit. Mm -hmm. Is that, is, I'm asking now, I don't know the answer that's, to it. Is that, is that possible? No, that's what the, the well, I'm, it I'm doesn't. Sorry, it wasn't clear. Are, but frankly, so you're we, sure we can do it that way? Yeah, I don't. That's Perfect. we've got. You know, if if we have five parties that think that they can do a job of marketing our community, and I, I want to also say, that we have to have a discussion whether or not our marketing plan is going to be a town function, functioning through the department within this four walls, or are we going to contract it out? We haven't even had that discussion. Mm -hmm. And that's got to be something yeah. that we have. On. I, I just want to wrap things up with a real quick thing, and that's it. I just want to read a statement from the charter because I'm looking to get some clarity on what it is. As you know, the DBA's purpose is marketing and marketing downtown. Um, and at the last meeting, the vice chair made a comment about advertising that sh shouldn't be paid for with tax dollars. Um, Am I remembering that correctly? Absolutely, yeah. Oh, okay. We're talking about the Facebook boost, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So I, I'm just, in the in the town charter it says, uh, the rights, powers, and duties of the district shall be exercised by the select board and shall be broadly construed to accomplish the purposes set forth above and shall include the following. To advertise and promote the improvement district. Okay. Improvement district. Well, that's the downtown yeah, so what I was objecting to was the individual ads for individual businesses that were being individually boosted. So I see that as being um, private inurement, something that's individually benefiting specific people. Okay. And it feels inappropriate. I still feel, you know, okay. I, I know we can, we can disagree on this, but I, I still feel that it's inappropriate for property taxes <clears throat> to pay for individual advertisements for individual businesses, which is essentially private benefit. And, of course, the property taxes we're talking about come exclusively from the downtown business district, no residences. Well, right. uh, that would be true of the DID funds, that's right. That, that's all we're talking yeah. about, though. Those are the only funds. Yeah. And yeah. Uh, the BBC has done similar posts on their Facebook feeds about individual businesses. So I guess I'm not sure why it's okay for one entity to do something a few times and then us to do an entire series because we believe it's a very successful thing to do. I, I just, I'd like to have a level playing field going forward. Well, I think in February we're going to have a, a talk about marketing for our town. Whether or not a component of that just goes to the uh, specific uh, district or we're talking about it on a global basis because our district expands beyond the district, as you know. Or, excuse me, our, our town is much greater than the, the, the downtown improvement district. We have to decide if we have a hundred dollars that is available across the spectrum, not just to the district, okay? Now, if we're talking about just the contract with the BBC for performance